I can remember being told the Father Christmas story and I really believed that, really believed that with my whole heart. And I can remember being up in my bedroom window, waiting, just waiting and hoping and praying that Father Christmas would come. I wanted to see him go across the sky, just as my mum had told me. But I never really did see him. I would get so tired, I'd have to go to bed. But I can remember the hope and the expectation that I had and, and the joy that was about to come. So I would fall asleep, just as every other child would after sitting up at the window for hours on end. But in the morning I would wake up and I would have my stocking that my mum lovingly prepared. Very simple, it's an apple, orange and nuts and a colouring book and pencils, but I was so excited. But of course mum had always told me that I wouldn't get them if I wasn't good. So up at that window I thought, mm, do I really stand much of a chance? Because I knew who I was. I knew what I was like. Being uh, good wasn't very easy for me. But I got them. And so that was lovely. And of course, in the evening of Christmas Day, we would have big family celebration. People would come together. Family would come together and we would have a wonderful time. By the time I was 28, I had become a Christian. I was now married. I actually found the true father of Christmas, that it was God himself and that he had come as a baby just for me, but for the world also, that that was the whole reason of Christmas. I had found this new and true reason for Christmas. So we would go to church every Christmas morning and that was the start of remembering as a, as a church family and as a family ourselves, the joy and the truth of Christmas. Yes, I love all the sparkle, I still do. I just feel joyful when I see Christmas trees and lights but of course that's not the true Christmas. The true Christmas began in a stable. Straw, smells, animals, all that. Very lowly beginning for the Christ that was about to save the world. I was in a choir for about 10 years, a gospel choir for 10 years in my younger time. And we used to sing a song and it was called Jesus is the reason for the season. And so that is the truth, really, of Christmas. That's the truth of my Christmas and the truth of my family's Christmas. So I want to really just hope that you will find that same truth in your Christmas one day, that you will realise that Jesus came to wipe out all your sin because Christmas links to Easter. And that really was what he came to do, that was to die on the cross for you and I. So that's what Christmas really means for me. It links Christmas time, the baby coming and the 30 years on to the cross. So I wish you a joyous, a blessed and a happy Christmas.